With that single result, Bodhi went on to travel the globe, challenging the best ski races in the world. I feel a lot more comfortable when I know that I'm racing against the best guys and I have to ski my best to do well. At this world-class level, 20-year-old Bodhi was catching the eyes of ski fans and ski experts, like champion and downhill course designer Bernard Rusi. But I saw immediately that he's doing something which nobody else does in terms of line, in terms of style. He was looking always for the direct line to the next gate, to the next obstacle. He is amazing. It's unbelievable. It doesn't matter where he skis, which line he takes. He's always fast. And that uh, makes him very interesting, but also very unpredictable. What Bodhi is trying to do is trying to figure out a way to go straighter down the mountain. He's trying to figure out a way to shorten the radius of the turn, get in and out of the turn faster than anybody else. When you see some of the wild, so to speak, antics and stuff, are a result of what he's trying to do. To me, Bodhi, I, I've never really liked his skiing, per se. I mean, his skiing, is, I call it a little bit gumby. It's, a, it's not really very, very pretty. Basically, I, I go as straight as I can go. By going straighter, I have this argument all the time with my coaches, but the way I think of it is like, if straight is going st straight downhill, then the far, you know, say your, your turns are like this, you know, you're going this far from going straight, and you bring that line in tighter and tighter on the gates, you're going straighter and straighter. And essentially, you'd make less of a turn too. I mean, you're making less turn, period. That's all, all there is to it. The thing that they argue with me about is to go straighter like that, you have to make your turn more abrupt. Right. But I disagree, you don't have to make it more abrupt. You just have to have enough um, confidence to tip it up early and make the apex of the turn right at the gate. Bodie could be very, very consistent if he would just change his tactics. His tactical line approach to the gates, he thinks, you know, I, I'm superhuman, I can do things that nobody else can do. And when he, when he finishes, yeah, but he rarely finishes. Does somebody who typically crashes and burns, are they ever going to harness it enough to ever get it under control. 